Hello students in today's class we are going to deal with transformation of sentences and i have planned to deal with this topic elaborately so today we'll deal with around seven rules of transformation of sentences the form of a sentence can be changed without changing its meaning an assertive sentence can be transformed to an interrogative sentence or an exclamatory sentence and vice versa likewise a complex sentence or a compound sentence can be transformed to a simple sentence and vice versa so the changing of the form of a sentence without changing its meaning is called transformation the rules that we are going to deal with today are number 1 interchange of active and passive voice number 2 interchange of degree of comparison 3 transformation of sentences containing the adverb to number 4 interchange of affirmative and negative sentences number 5 interchange of interrogative and assertive sentences number 6 interchange of exclamatory and assertive sentences and the last rule that we are going to deal today is interchange of one part of speech for another first we will discuss interchange of active and passive voice girls the active voice is used when the agent is to be made prominent whereas the passive voice is used when the thing acted upon is to be made prominent or when the agent is unknown or when we do not need to name the agent now let's study the illustrations our first example is macbeth murdered duncan now girls you can understand that here duncan is the object of the active voice sentence and this object will become the subject in passive voice and the transformed sentence would be duncan was murdered by macbeth the next example who will do the work and it will be transformed like by whom will the work be done as i have told you in my class on voice that wh word who in active voice becomes by whom in passive voice and this rule is applied over here next what cannot be cured must be endured it is in passive voice and when we transform it into active voice since in the passive voice we do not know who the subject is so our sentence in active voice will be one must endure what what cannot cure the next example shut the door since it's an imperative sentence so in passive voice the sentence would be let the door be shut or you are instructed you are asked you are told you are commanded to shut the door so here we have actually applied the rule of imperative sentence in case of active and passive voice interchange next we have i saw him opening the box in passive voice we will transform it like he was seen opening the box and you can notice that here the agent 
is omitted last one it is time to close the door and in passive voice it is time for the door to be closed and girls these are very few rules of interchange of active and passive voice since you have already done a class on voice in details i have cited a few rules on interchange of active and passive voice over here now let's deal with the rules of interchange of degrees of comparison the degree of comparison of an adjective or adverb in a sentence can be changed without changing the meaning of the sentence now let's study the examples first sentence the first example is written in positive degree of comparison john is as tall as his brother and when we'll transform it we will transform it into comparative degree of comparison and the answer will be john's brother is not taller than john positive degree of comparison this book is not as interesting as that one comparative degree of comparison the same sentence will be that book is more interesting than this one the next example which is in positive degree of comparison no other metal is as useful as iron and when we will transform it into comparative degree of comparison we will write iron is more useful than any other metal likewise when it will be transformed into a sentence using superlative degree of comparison it will be like iron is the most useful of all metals comparative degree of comparison india is more exotic than any other country in the world and when it will be transformed into a superlative degree of sentence comparison sorry india is the most exotic country in the world the last example which is in positive degree of comparison no other singer in india is as sweet as lata mangeshkar superlative degree lata mangeshkar is the sweetest singer of india now these were the examples but here i just want to tell you something girls most of the time in your question paper the degree of comparison in which you are supposed to change the sentence is mentioned but there are times when it is not mentioned the degree will not be mentioned on such cases in spite of getting nervous you need to see whether the comparison is made between two or among many once you can understand that you yourself will understand that the degree of comparison you are expected to change into for example in the first example we have two characters john and his brother so the degree of comparison will be either positive or comparative so if one is given you will have to apply the other one so try to study the sentences very minutely so that you can understand what is required in the sentence now let's move on to the rules of transformation of sentences containing the adverb to 
the form of a sentence containing the adverb to can be changed as the old man is too feeble to walk and it will be changed like the old man is so feeble that he cannot walk the box was too heavy for him to lift up the box was so heavy that he could not lift up she is too intelligent not to understand that she is so intelligent that she will understand that the next example the woman is too eager for praise the woman is over eager for praise and the last example is he is too ignorant to be a teacher he is so ignorant that he cannot be a teacher now girls here again i need to tell you for such sentences with to to or so that the instructions of transformation may vary for example the instructions may be like replace to to with so that or transform into a negative sentence or into a positive sentence omit to or omit so that transform it into a simple sentence or transform it into a complex sentence etc so what i want to tell you is that the instruction may vary but most often sentence with to to is replaced is sorry is simple sentence and so that is used in complex sentence so again from the construction you should actually need to understand if the sentence is with to to it will be changed into a sentence where you will have to use so that or vice versa but for all this you need to practice a lot interchange of affirmative and negative sentences affirmative sentences can be changed into negative sentences without changing their meaning now let's study the examples first affirmative sentence as soon as the police came the thief ran away and in negative we will write no sooner had the police come than the thief ran away or no sooner did the police come than the thief ran away now girls here you can see not only an affirmative sentence is transformed into a negative sentence a sentence with positive degree of comparison is changed into a comparative degree of comparison so you need to practice these forms just to understand what is required in a sentence a next example is she is too weak to work and in negative she is so weak that she cannot walk now girls you can see that here we have used the rules of interchange of sentences containing adverb to number 3 and 4 now in these two examples we have used actually the antonyms of the adjective let us see my knife is sharp and in negative we were writing my knife is not blunt likewise the boy is brave 
the boy is not covered next example he is the tallest man in the locality in negative no other man in the locality is as tall as he now here again we have used the rules of degree of comparison but here we have used the we have taken first we took a superlative degree of comparison and then we have transformed it into a positive degree of comparison next comes he has courage he is not without courage so we have just added not without next affirmative sentence is everyone present shed tears negative there was no one who present did not shed tears so if you see it minutely you will notice that actually in the negative sentence we have used two negative words no and not and in that way the meaning remains the same the next example is affirmative sentence she will take only tea and in negative she will take nothing but tea affirmative every man feels happy and negative there is not a man but feels happy last one she was doubtful whether it was john negative she was not sure that it was john so doubtful is actually changed into not sure just to make it a negative sentence but the thing is you need to practice you need to first study and you need to practice a lot just to understand what you are supposed to do how you are supposed to transform the sentences because every time you will get a sentence you will have the rules in front right in front of you if you practice it regularly and when i say that you will have the rules right in front of you i meant you will have those rules right in front of you in your head you will remember very easily which rule you are supposed to apply over here interchange of interrogative and assertive sentences now questions asked to suggest the answer the speaker or writer expects can be transformed to statement that is assertive sentences affirmative questions are transformed into negative statements and negative questions are transformed into affirmative sentences now let's see the examples interrogative when can their glory fade assertive their glory can never fade so an affirmative interrogative sentence is transformed into a negative assertive sentence next interrogative will he not be shocked by the sight it is again an interrogative negative sentence and as i have told you it will be changed into an affirmative assertive sentence he will be shocked by the sight now next interrogative sentence why waste time in idle gossips and in assertive we will write it is foolish to waste time in idle gossip now this is an exception that we have 
used over here so there can be exceptions to prove the rule next we have was he not foolish to act thus assertive he is foolish to act thus and the last example why cry over spilt milk assertive it is useless to cry over spilt milk now here again we have used an exceptional rule now next we have interchange of exclamatory and assertive sentences exclamatory what a piece of art is man an assertive man is a wonderful piece of work exclamatory oh a cup of tea assertive i wish i had a cup of tea exclamatory ah what a sight was there assertive there was a wonderful sight exclamatory how beautiful is the moon assertive the moon is very beautiful exclamatory sentence hurra we have won the match assertive it is a matter of great joy that we have won the match exclamatory if only i could win the prize assertive i earnestly desire to win the prize and the last one shame on you to use poor cripple so assertive it is shameful of you to use a poor cripple so so for exclamatory sentences you need to understand the tone of the sentences that is whether the sentence is exclaimed in sorrow or anger desire wonder surprise excitement wish or so on and once you can understand the tone you will be able to transform it accordingly so for any kind of transformation you need to practice because practice is the key to be flawless in transformation of sentences now let's deal with interchange of one part of speech for another first verb to noun a soldier's fought bravely the verb fought will be replaced with its noun form and the sentence is our soldiers put up a brave fight noun to verb she gave a curt reply here reply is the noun and this noun will be replaced with its verb form she replied curtly verb to adjective they differ from each other and we are going to use the adjective form of differ they are different from each other adverb to adjective he replied smartly adverb smartly will be replaced with its adjective form he replied in a smart manner adjective to noun the boy is intelligent here adjective intelligent will be replaced with its noun form the boy has intelligence adjective to adverb i passed a sleepless night now here adjective sleepless will be replaced with its adverb form i passed a night sleeplessly and the last one is noun to adverb he came here every day noun day will be replaced with its adverb form 
he comes here daily so girls these are the seven rules of transformation of sentences study them thoroughly so that you can apply this knowledge whenever required now girls here are some practice materials for you but there are ample exercises in test papers question bunch question bank of our school and in other practice books so please do practice them and because more you will practice the more things will be easy so now let's take down the exercise 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 number 1 change the voice of the following sentences number 1 do they speak english number 2 has he invited her number 3 he saw her crossing the street number 4 one cannot help it number 5 her conduct disgusted her father next change the degree of comparison platinum is as heavy as gold number 2 akbar was one of the greatest kings of india my brother is more intelligent than i number 4 the rose is more beautiful than any other flower number 5 he loves all his sons equally well next rewrite the following sentences omitting two the fact is too evident to require proof number 2 she is too stupid to make a good daughter number 3 he is never too eager for anything number 4 the sum is too hard for a child and number 5 it was raining so heavily for us to go out transform the following sentences according to the instructions given in brackets she sometimes act foolishly transform it from affirmative to negative number 2 everyone will admit that he is honest affirmative to negative number 3 the two brothers are not unlike each other negative to affirmative number 4 not many would be so dishonest negative to affirmative number 5 why waste time in reading trash interrogative to assertive who cares for the poor and the homeless interrogative to assertive number 7 he is greater than i assertive to interrogative she always talks nonsense assertive to interrogative number 9 what a disaster it was exclamatory to assertive o oh, for the wings of a dove exclamatory to assertive number 11 it is a very beautiful flower assertive to exclamatory she leads a very unhappy life assertive to exclamatory number 13 this pen costs 10 rupees use the noun form of the verb number 14 she is certain of her own worth adjective should be replaced with a noun and number 15 smoking is injurious to health adjective should be replaced here with verb and the last one is his mistake is intentional adjective 
will be replaced with adverb so girls in today's class we have dealt with seven rules of transformation of sentences in our next class we will deal with the other rules till then study practice and stay safe stay healthy thank you